I have a smile on my face, but I really don't feel like smiling. I had another video ready to go, and I've been up for awake for over an hour, and decided to move the video that I had planned to do uh, for today, and that is midnight, past midnight, at the clock up, up there, uh, and let that video wait for another day. The title for the video now for the tenth is once again they want to steal my home. I had another video all lined up, blurb and all, for today's video. Of course, I wrote that earlier yesterday as a follow-up to my previous video where I asked for prayers for the ambassador. Anyway, last night my son-in-law came to my door after I was laying down to sleep. He had looked up the meaning of the hearing scheduled for November 30th, which the bank's attorney expects the judge to rubber stamp. It's called Plaintiff's Writ of Possession, case number, and I include the number. Apparently, it means they will give me and a family of five living under my roof 24 hours to get out. Bear in mind that I have never had a mortgage on this property, and the settlement of the previous case included the stipulation that they would not try to take my home. As usual, Liars lie. It's what they do in a system based on deception. Yes, I got about probably about two hours of sleep <laughs> and decided when I when I was very restless, turning over and over again, that I might just as well get up and, and make a video, a different video. <laughs> and that's what I'm doing right now. This case has been going on since well, I moved into this house in July uh, 2005. And I've been living here ever since then, obviously. The lawsuit was filed less than a month after I moved into the house, claiming the bank's wife, the banker's wife, filing a lawsuit against me because uh, claiming that the uh, Dr. Mary's will was not valid. Uh, and that case, again, they didn't win that case. Uh, it was set, there was a settlement, and this, uh, I gave up all rights to other properties, and the property, Dr. Mary's property, uh, was on sale for 999000 I had received two bids on it. 870 and 850. I had to turn down both bids, or I didn't turn them down, I just revealed the fact that there had been a lawsuit, that there was a list pendants, which means there's a lawsuit filed against the property. Needless to say, uh, the offers were withdrawn, and I never saw a sale of the house. I finally, after several years, and the price of real estate going down, 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 uh, I finally agreed uh, to allow them to sell the house, Dr. Mary's house that I had lived in for uh, probably, I think it was, I think I had lived there for probably about eight years, probably, I, I, I'm guessing, probably about eight years I had lived there, maybe a little more, um, prior to her dying. And anyway, as I said, the, they challenged they challenged her will and said there was undue influence and stuff like that, which wasn't the case at all. She came to me one day and she said, Ron, I've made a terrible mistake because she had allowed them to manipulate her into listing them as owner, the bankers, what banker and, their, and his wife as owners of her property. As owners of her home, they they convinced her to do that. And the bear in mind, this is an old an old lady that's eighty, what was she eighty something years old? And 80, I forget, I honestly forget, 85, 80, 83, 86, 85, something like that. Um, and they had convinced her to give them her property. How they did that. 
I don't know. But anyway, she contacted me and one day when I came home. I was living in the garage apartment upstairs uh, in a separate building from her, from her house. And she said, Ron, I've made a terrible mistake. And I ended up taking her to uh, a lawyer. And actually, I took her to, a, I think, about three lawyers altogether. She finally found a lawyer that she was comfortable with. And uh, he got her extricated from that. And she drew up, and she drew up a different will, naming me as the uh, half 50% beneficiary, the bank, uh, not the bank, the Shriners uh, as 50% beneficiaries with $50,000 of the proceeds going to three other individuals, 20, 20, and 10. Thousand, that is. <laughs> uh, so that, as I said, was settled. And then even though the agreement was that my house would be left without them touching it, that was the that was the settlement of the court case uh, in bankruptcy court in federal bankruptcy court. And a year later, they file another lawsuit against me, trying to take my property. Now somehow, in between there, they had convinced the county to list the property in the bank's name as the owner. So they stopped sending me uh, tax bills. I mean, they were sending them to the bank. And I thought, well, they, they can't win this one. Uh, if they want to pay the taxes on my house, let them pay the taxes. And the taxes had gone way down from what they were when uh, when I first moved in here. I mean, when it was over $1,000 uh, a year, it, it was now six or $700 a year. So that's the story. And now again, uh, as my son-in-law uh, made clear to me, they plan to move to take over this house December 1st this year. Now, of course, I'm not going to sit idly by and not, not do anything. Uh, but I don't know the outcome because you're dealing with a criminal cabal. You're dealing with judges and attorneys, and the judges are attorneys, former attorneys, that realize that their system is, of lies is being exposed and it's under attack. And that's true all across the United States and probably around the world. So I'm up against people that are desperate to hold on to their illusions. And I'm desperate to stay in the home that I've lived in for over 10 years. And I, I did I mention, I think I did, that I got an email just uh, on the current video that's up now before this one that I'm uh, that I'm talking about right now and recording uh, of a person who has rented a home for 10 years over 10 years and he's being evicted because the landlord <laughs> hasn't paid their taxes and he's all dis distrust distraught as as I am very discouraged uh, that this thing is what it is. But as I said, I'm, I'm not going to lay down and play dead. I'm going to fight it the best I know how. And I'm asking once again for prayers and any support. Now, the ambassador had promised me an attorney, and he put me in touch with someone here in Florida who tried to line up an attorney. It, that never happened. So... Uh, again, I don't know how the outcome is going to be, uh, but I do ask for your prayers and your support and any ideas that, that you might have on, on what I might do. So I do appreciate you listening, and I thank you once again, and namaste. Thank you.